Hello everybody, welcome back for another episode of Herald Helper. Our first episode in the series did pretty well, especially for my channel. So like, thanks for that. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you learned a little something and hopefully this is helpful in a way that's different from basically pro level players giving their advice on how to climb out of the trench. Because I find a lot of their advice, intentionally or not, ends up relying on mechanics. Which, if you're in Herald, you don't really have the mechanics. So like, again, that is still the first big piece of advice. Get better at last hitting. Get better at some small mechanics. Maybe spam some heroes if you really want to get out. But avoiding that, let's look at this next video. The first video kind of focused on how some inefficiencies in the early game affect your late game. And then suddenly one minor thing that happens in the late game is blown up out of proportion of what it should be. This game is much shorter. It only goes about 35 minutes. We'll probably spend longer on it because I'll pause and I'll talk and all that kind of stuff. But I'm thinking this game is going to be better to look at exact laning mistakes and possibly like rotation inefficiency in the mid game not knowing where you should be or who you should be playing behind so to do that let's get in i'll unpause this i did not watch the draft so i'll probably pause and take a quick look at the draft right at the start because you have time to be thinking about this when you're playing you can think about the draft okay Sounds like I can kind of... Okay, we're going to turn directed camera off. Free camera? Okay. So you got a Monkey King, a Spirit Breaker, a Bat Rider, a Silencer, and a Pudge. Okay, I'm also... I'm going to try and predict positions. Um, I would want this run mid... So, one, two, three, four, five. I think it will be run... One, two, three, four, five. Or, I mean, these two are pretty reversible in most low rank games. Even up in, like the Archon and Legend level, I feel a lot of the time. Also, I'm noticing my webcam is slightly too big right there. So we're going to make it a little bit smaller. You can still see the scan stuff. It's okay. Okay. I wanted to fix that. And then this is... I would want this... I don't know how I'd run this. This I don't like this draft. I like this draft way more. This draft is more flexible and it makes more sense, I think. This draft also... Small tip for, like, winning low-ranked games and knowing or knowing who's going to win. Count stuns. One, two, three. And a dis hook. Even though it's an ult, it's low cooldown and hook is basically a stun. Three. Three and a half. I'm going to call it three and a half versus one and a half maybe even just one honestly because if ravage isn't up they have like no stuns they have cm which with a pudge spirit breaker bat rider monkey king i don't see the cm surviving very long in a lot of fights so there's that to think about number one also i would say this is two i would want this one two three four five i think it's gonna be two one three four five okay so let's look at starting items who's gonna win the starting animal award well they're having fun already that's a good sign Batrider hasn't bought anything punch has a bracer level one this seems weird i don't hate this if i'm playing an offlane pudge i don't think this seems a little weird uh, so there's a support silencer. Which means the bat is probably going mid, or the pudge went mid, one of the two. Support silencer. That's fine. I think I would trade these it for some sticks. This one is and some in branches. Again, this would probably be branches. These are fine. This is fine. I don't know if you need this. I think you just have another branch. So I don't know if I'm building a wraith pat wraith band in these lanes, but that's a minor thing. Thirty seconds and counting. This looks like a mid build minus. I like a fairy fire in the mid lane, pretty much my way here. I really like this wind lace, actually. Uh, Ward and Sentry right on top of each other. They beat them to there. They don't know that. Uh, 
this man tanked too much damage. He is now going to get first blooded by this the bat. Okay. So that's a first blood on the mid laner. And one two, two bounty runes each. We're gonna look at these. Also, Bat Rider wins the item build for that team. This is fine. This is too many slippers. Oh no, the silencer is mid. Never mind. Okay. Well, the Bat Rider getting the first blood is less of a huge deal then, because he's apparently a support. Very interesting. I really dislike this. I don't like to. This is too much not regen. Eh. Not a huge fan. I'm an armlet rusher. Too many slippers. Uh, Venno probably wins for this team. He's got good regen to share. Batrider died. Let's. I missed that. Let's rewind and watch how that happened. So Batrider's just kind of clicking the CM. He just man fought. He's only got sticky napalm. It's kind of dumb. To be honest, he knows his monkey has no spells. And these two heroes are strong at level one. That is a dead monkey king. Okay. So, I mean, you've made up for this first blood. You killed the hero that got it. He should have bought boots with his first blood, by the way. He does not need a... Um, no talisman. They're kind of owning bottom. And they have an okay amount of regen still. Uh, the silent... Oh, you cannot cast shrapnel with Arcane Curse on you. Even if you really want to. Gotta wait for that to wear off. Also... Oh. Probably hooked the Huskar, didn't quite kill him, died. Okay. Lots of action so far. Oh my God. Um, cannot cast that. If you buy this, you have to gamble on where the ward is. He clearly has no ward. I do not buy this unless I know where the ward is. This is 50 gold down the drain. Also, our HP is getting low. We still seem really committed to this double Wraith Band thing. I think I would have bought more Tangos and be saving for a bottle. With how much this man is queuing me. Oh, let's look top. Huskar getting low. Venno kind of walks in and saves. Okay. Two minutes, 30 seconds. The lanes are just kind of happening. The important thing at this point in the laning stage, you've kind of... None of your fights. People are hitting level 2s, maybe some level 3s here and there. Regen check. None except what he's getting from this bracer. Going for this, though. He's in an okay place. Not great, though. None to share. Just one. One tango. Oh, he did get the ward. Okay, never mind. This is worth it. You should maybe get this courier, too. Take aim. Kill the courier. I think he can see it. He'll be able to see it soon. Two tangos. Three tangos, one tango and a salve, one tango, a tango, and a ring of regen. So this lane, this la these two have more regen. More regen. Uh, more regen. So, the next, like, three minutes of this game, if people play relatively correctly, top, the safe lane should win for dire. Off lane should win for radiant. And does he have a bottle? Not a bottle. This is a couple of mangoes and a new ward. I would say whoever gets the bottle first is winning this lane. Right now it looks okay for silencer in my opinion. I can probably hide this now. Okay, he doesn't kind of walk around. He doesn't know the courier's coming, so he doesn't walk around to try and take it. And he's got creeps to last hit here. Tide dies again bottom. Oh, sorry. Tide dies for the first time bottom. I just was there. Oh, he just got stunned and right clicked a few times. Yeah. Even if you're a Tide, you can't be sitting super low because you don't purge the stuff before you die if you're low on HP already. Also, I apologize. I'm going to be shifting around some. My chair is sinking on me a lot tonight. I had too big of a meal. So... Also, I'm like, I'm realizing that this can be, like, way over here. Oh, is that just, like... No, that's okay. 
I'm okay there. Sorry. I get very easily distracted. Okay. So right now... Oh, also. Right now, who's winning? We can see this little thing. I would say the game is pretty even. I would guess that just from looking at the heroes, not even looking at kills, I would, I think Dyer should be last hitting slightly better. Let me find last hits. There we go. Ahead, even, ahead. Dyer is last hitting slightly better. And that should keep up for a little bit. Now, a lot of kills this game. So here's a thing to think about, actually, when you're playing games like this. When there are a lot of kills, it gets really unpredictable to keep track of net worth and like how well you think a hero is doing without clicking them. I'm really bad at clicking heroes that are not on my team. Also, I don't think this Venno... This Venno chasing this missed him like three last hits. That's doubles his creep score if he gets those instead of running and there was no way he could ever do anything to that punch, right? He could have six last hits. He could have like another item almost, like a small item. That's a lot. Oh, our Tidehunter is getting low again. He backed up to south. So our Arcane Boots. Our CM almost has Tranquils. By almost, I mean, it's going to take a hot minute, but. This Huskar needs to be last hitting slightly better. Although I think he has the hardest lane to win in last hitting of the course. Like that should win. Like I think this Monkey King is really good against this Tide. I kind of like that spell. Yeah, that probably saved his life. A little scary though to run in that way. Misclicked that creep. So he's going to miss a last hit because of that misclick. Okay. Uh, hopefully Pudge has been called missing. I think he's dead without the Pudge being there. Oh. Oh, just barely alive. Okay, so what's the... Got a self? Pop that. There we go. Good timing for that cell. I would go stack Ancients right here, if I'm this sniper. I'm healing. I could have walked up here and hit Ancients. They kill another double kill bottom. Like I said, this group should be winning for a while because they had way more regen. And their heroes kind of, like Monkey King has some natural regen with Jingu, which he's like kind of a psycho build. This is fine. I do not agree with that Monkey King's build. I think one in Q versus Spirit Breaker is pretty good. Get some wards, my dude. I get wanting the poison sting. Usually a 1-1-1 one, one, one and then kind of max these two. But Nothing in Nova versus dual lanes. This is an atrocious build. I hate this. This is really bad. This is like nearly a griefing. This is good. This is normal. I think. I can't like guaranteed say what's normal. So if he had Q here... Pretty sure. I mean, he was going to walk away anyway. But I'm pretty sure he's under zero threat if he has Q. Oh, oh, is he going to... Your turn and you got to start hucking those spears. Start hucking, start hucking. There was a point, like, right here where this Pudge was low enough that you turn. He's level four. You know? Now this dive is probably too deep. He's got wand and fairy fire. Overdive after they thought they had a kill. That's they realized that they had this kill late. If they realized that they could kill this hero here, they kill him like here and the Venno doesn't die here. He gets both the spirit breaker for it. But he died first and the pudge lived. The core lived. And now through this salve has more HP than your level 6 admittedly Huskar. This, this um, Venno has been doing a very good job making sure Huskar gets experience. That's good. This Huskar? I want him to buy an armlet. 
I hate these gloves of haste. I want an armlet right now. He started right-clicking the Spirit Breaker there, which I think is the wrong move. He's got to turn and right-click this Pudge twice. Do it again. There we go. So the Spirit... The Huskar's owning now. I don't know why he does not have ultimate. Ultimate was another kill there for sure. But he's kind of owning. Sniper is still outlast hitting the Silencer. That's a double kill top. That's really good. Like I said, they had more regen. I think that's what I said. If it was the opposite way, I'm an idiot. And I don't know anything. Batrider gets a little aggressive and feeds. I don't know what's wrong with this Tidehunter player, but he seems like he's going to be very toxic if they start to lose significantly. I don't like double race ban. That's how I am. He still does not have ultimate, and he still killed that Pudge. His Venomancer is going to die now, though. This man needs to back away. Oh, I almost thought the Spear Breaker was going to get to charge through him. That would have been sick. Level 7. Level 8. They get a kill on the bat. Not being able to kill the monkey, because the monkey is... Mid Where is the monkey king? There is little hope for Dyer's middle town. Am I blind? He was just in base. Okay. Level 6. A lot of level 6 with attack. no ultimate ability Minions skilled. Is under attack. Do you not get your ultimate at 6 now? Am I insane? Do you get it at 8 or something? Radiant's no. Okay. Is under attack. Whew. I, need not beg for scraps. I was like, am I just an idiot? Okay, okay. Okay. I need I need the dictionary. Hi. Ultimate. The best achievable or imaginable of its kind. You have an ability called an ultimate ability. You get it at level 6. Skill that ability. In like 99% of situations. Get your ultimate at 6. Okay. Especially if you're like a silencer. Batrider does. Spirit Breaker does. Monkey King. Monkey King I can almost see. Not getting it. Doesn't really do a ton. But I think it scares people away. Especially against the Ravage. Not 6 yet has it i i have no idea why you skip ult on this hero i think it's really good on the huskar okay now that i'm done having my mind blown we can continue let's look at item builds this is fine after an armlet sniper dies to a silencer who then at level 9 skills will Ravage the Silencer. Yes, beautiful. I don't know if Ravage was happening, if we needed this cast as well, but... The Venomancer dying is whatever. This Spirit Breaker should be dead, but our Huskar doesn't have ult. Huskar has ultimate here? That's just a dead hero. There's nothing he can do. I mute this guy immediately. Fight, fight, fight. On my team or against me. Wow. <laughs> Hooks the catapult. That's whatever. Stops the pushing happening. And now we have a silencer that is top. Which is not... So you're a mid hero. This is not really the lane that's scary. Last hits. More even than I thought. With how short this game was. Dyer should look to their bottom tower. The only one really getting out farmed. I guess the Spirit Breaker is the full three. The Spirit Breaker is getting out farmed. That's about it. This team does have much better gank. Very low gank up here. We're level eight. We still don't have our ultimate. I don't think he's going to get ultimate to like level 11. 
That is a dead Venomancer who's not gonna get to ult because of global. That's a good global. If the Venomancer gets his ult off there, um, they probably kill two heroes. If Huskar had his ultimate, they also maybe kill one or two. Instead, two people die. They're strong. If this monkey had Primal Spring, I think he just kills the CM. Like, zero issues. Okay. So this tower is going to get pushed now. You have a Venomancer with ult. You have a feeling... You know now there's at least, like, three, four people up here. You're very lucky that Pudge missed that hook, or you were probably dead. Can these heroes hold this? It's kind of a maybe. It is a no, because he just got chain stunned. They get one, and it looks like they get the Monkey King bottom. I've got a sniper pushing the mid lane. Okay. I'm going to close this. There have been a ton of kills. You have no idea who's strong. Whatever you can, you're clicking heroes. This hero has a lot of farm. This hero has more farm than it looks like he has. This hero doesn't need farm, and it looks like he's pretty poor. This hero looks very poor to me, but he's getting towards something. This hero is obviously poor. This hero looks semi-farmed, but not really. It's the Wraith Bands. It's a lot of empty value. That hero looks farmed in normal. That hero seems kind of farmed. Better if they had phase boots. Like, really, everyone here is under-farmed, except maybe this Venno. This Venno has, like, the right amount of farm for his role, I think. Which, if we look... 12 last hits as a support that's not bad he's fine he's been in some kills i think two four and five he's been half the kills okay but so this game is being played like everyone's insane is under attack. so what you have to start doing is like just farming in safe places if you're a core like i'm this sniper I'm pushing this wave in with another shrapnel, and I'm heading to the jungle. Also, these should be high ground scouting, instead of just sitting here. There we go. Bottom, this monkey TP'd in. I think maybe we can kill this hero. We have no ultimates, we can't kill him. We can annoy him, though. Now you walk away, because he's just going to heal. Yep. He's maybe... Again, if he had Primal Spring, I think he can kill the CM. That is... Plausibly a dead tide under no lasso actually, so they're probably fine. I don't hate this TP. Gotta look at raindrops because you can get that kill with right clicks. You don't need to ult for it. This man is just farming towards his armlet. This man is just farming for a spirit vessel, which is very good against Monkey King and Pudge in particular. Now you have a lot of heroes down here. That was a shot. There's a Pudge in the game. Anytime you're near a tree line and you don't see Pudge in another lane. Okay, turn. I hate no Q. But we're going to rewind briefly because this sniper should not die here. There's a Pudge in this game. There's a creep wave here. I'm moving towards that creep wave. You just got to be on the lookout for it. You got to know what's going to happen. That punch almost got that. Venno dies top because they're fighting weirdly bottom. They use CM ult. This Tide thankfully doesn't have Ravage because I think he would Ravage here. And like still die. This is a really important rotation for them. A lot of strong heroes dead. When they also got like a solo kill top. So if you're Radiant, you're worried about Huskar. You're mostly worried about the Huskar. A little bit about Sniper. If you're Dire, I'm worried about killing the Silencer in the Monkey King. 
And kind of the bat, yeah, I feel like the bat's kind of owning. Okay, de-warding. Gotta drop more plague wards when you're in aggressive places just to let him know. I don't hate that. He needed to react slightly faster. That was very, that's very cowardly. You're probably the strongest hero on the map is this Huskar right now. You gotta get in there. In my opinion. I like this. Come farm a little bit. Get the Mask of Madness. And then, as a person who plays, who like dabbles in Sniper, I always buy a Maelstrom. I see a lot of Snipers skip Maelstrom, I just completely disagree. Monkey King going Maelstrom, more interesting to me. I'm kind of like an Echo Saber Deso Monkey King player. But I also skill Primal Spring in Tree Dance, so that does some of it. That is a dead Tide Hunter. That should be a dead CM, honestly. But we have no W. So right now, this game is still close. We're going to change the net worth. This is a pretty even game. The sniper is getting out farmed. It takes some time to scale up. He just got his farming item. He's been in like none of the kills. Kind of been ignoring the fighting, but still not first and last hits. You got to do one or the other. Like he's been in seven and he's first and last hits. Whereas he's been in two, three and is second in last hits. And not like ahead of this Monkey King who's been in seven by very much. Like some of that's getting harassed, but you just got to farm a little more efficiently. Like let's watch this farming for a second. Getting pinged by Orange for reasons I don't know. Top is under top. I don't even know who Orange is. I guess it's Venno. Why are we going to this fight? What are we doing here? Horrible go. Horrible go. Missed an entire creep wave here. Oh, this orange is pinging. Never mind. Probably might have died to this pudge if they stayed, but like, missed a whole creep wave. Has not less hit a creep. Because there's none there. There were some there. Walks by this creep camp. To this lane where his Venno already is. Hola. Hello, I paused the recording for a moment because I was talking to my brother. Um, and while I was doing that, I thought... Hero level is a really good way to look at who's actually being more efficient. Efficient, efficient, efficient in these weird kind of high kill. You're not really sure who's winning super hard games. And again, again, no one's winning super hard right now. But Radiant is being more efficient on the map. Oh. They're killing someone. The CM again. The CM is tanks and molds. Okay, the Tide also dies for this. So that's okay. You know, these three heroes are here to do fucking nothing. There's a full creep wave here. 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 All these camps. A DD rune. And we're all up here fucking jerking your dicks for fun. Which, like, I... That's what you want to do for fun. Do that for fun. But, like, why is this Huskar being such a coward right now? Hit Q! Hit! Hit your Q button! Thank you. Okay, this is sniper gameplay at its finest. I don't love this Ravage. Like, that hero was very dead. We just burned Ravage for no reason. Okay, you know what? Hanging out up here. They got really aggressive. They got some kills. I'm wrong. Sometimes it works. They definitely saw that monkey jump, but they still don't have Q. This is free damage. A slow, an attack slow. It's so good. Damage. It's more damage than mana. It's a really good spell. Like, it has a big AoE. Slows. It's a really, really good spell. I like shrapnel to farm. I'm wondering why the raindrop this game. I don't think raindrop does much this game. Casual hood? Mage Slayer is kind of sick this game, I think. 
is an item I do not buy. This Huskar dying is really bad. So let's see how it happened. Okay, there's... Actually, sorry, let's go back. Fog Radiant. Fog Dire? Yeah, this is what the dyer can see. The radiant can see. No, this is what the dyer can see. Here we go. So this is what the dyer could see. They have two wards. This one's okay. I'm a Huskar. I don't really farm this low ground, I don't think. Also, Pudge is dead. Standing here is okay. Pudge is alive, standing. We saw that hook. Okay, our CM tried to help us. We were attacking from the low ground. We ulted in versus two. Became three, four. I think it was just a little overly aggressive. Like, that was the first time he kind of didn't run away for no real reason and went over aggressive, in my opinion. Uh, my dog is being mean to my cat, so I had to say hi. I like how the Spirit Breaker is playing. He's creating a chaotic game state. Oh, you cannot... You cannot tunnel vision so hard on that Spirit Breaker that you run in and get lassoed as a sniper. Like, if he starts to get out of your range, and there's other heroes there, we're not chasing. Pudge hook. This Tide Hunter should die, I believe. I don't see a way for him to survive this many heroes around him. The silencer is getting a lot of int. On that spirit breaker, I probably charged top. The bat went top, so it's okay. He's got bots. And now suddenly, the Huskar and the CM dying. These two heroes dying. That's that's probably the swing that they needed. They're up 4k now. So, we have no Ravage for 5 seconds. We have Ravage Veno ult. Okay. You... Okay. I'm always going to try and take the losing perspective here. Because that's what's important. If you're winning, you know how to win, I think. Most of the time. Unless you throw. If someone throws, we'll talk about throwing. Um, you're dire this game. You just lost two horrible fights in a row. Nothing went right. You feel underfarmed. They feel really strong. What do you do? Well, you look at your lineup. What does your lineup do? This lineup team fights in the front lines for this sniper. So you get your sniper one item. You ravage, you veno ult. You see M ult if you need to. You blow fucking everything on a big fight around an important objective. Whether that's something like defending a tier 2 or a high ground, or forcing a Roshan fight where your ultimates are better than theirs. So how do we do this, though? Because there's a silencer. They're just going to silence us and they're going to run at us. You have to kind of... You need your tide to front line. You need to kind of poke at the fight. And if you ravage the silencer, you blow everything else while he's stunned. He interrupts the CMO. Who cares? And that's what you do. You hope it works. If it doesn't work, you lost the game. But at least you tried something. So let's see what they do now. They're all in this jungle area. Lots of cores here. I like committing some stuff to kill that. We got two cores here, no cores here, no cores up here. We have five heroes here. We have, an, we have a smoke. Okay, we're smoking. Why aren't we scanning? If you smoke, you have to scan. You gotta go look for people. He's so low, he's leaving. And they're on the wrong side of the map. They see this hero here. I think they saw the bat. 
So they're on the wrong side of this map for the smoke to have been good. Not a horrible scan. I don't think they're playing that passively in general, though. I have no jump for that hero. I don't know if I'm uh, getting a Dragon Lance this game. Because I feel under farm. So I'm probably getting a Maelstrom. Like I've said earlier. Maelstrom is a lot of damage. Okay, this is okay. Oh, your tide blinked in while he's silenced. This is not okay anymore. Okay. Okay, nope. That Ravage is horrible. Okay. We're gonna slow this fight down. Because I'm not a caster. Okay. You deward this. I'm guessing they caught sight of him. You're up, you see him. Right click. He gets bulldoze off, so he's gonna be out of this stun incredibly fast. Right click. Pulled. Run away. Run away. She got pulled. You had to turn and run. Instead, we're gonna get chain stun and a monkey ult. He blinked in before he had Ravage. What does this Ravage do? He doesn't even get the pre-blast hits. He just dies anyway. We still have two ults when we're alive again. But the moment that bat pulls that CM, you're like, there's more heroes than I thought here. I'm running this way. I want to be over here. Okay. Because the sniper doesn't need to die there. and He can maybe do a lot of damage. Enough that that Ravage is maybe good. Or if not, at least you don't lose two cores. Because your other core is dying to Roshan. I like the play. Oh it's a good play. High risk, high reward. Honestly, that's that's what you need to make when you're losing. And they felt like they are losing. They should walk into Roche because they should know it's low. There's no way this man dies to Roche without getting low. Monkey King knows. I don't think this monkey can kill this Roche by himself. These items? No. Definitely not. So he's going to need to leave. I was kind of hoping he would die as well. I think that would have been really funny. He's pinging. He wants a silencer to come tank for him. Ags first item silencer. Weird, but I mean, they're winning. This is a slightly weird, but I prefer a shadow blade here. This is like a meta build. Again, I don't love Monkey King Maelstrom a lot of the time. This is fine against a Huskar and a Sniper. This is good. I like these. This is fine. This should be a full pipe for a Lincoln Sphere, I think. BKB, you have no damage. You don't need a BKB this game. This goes through BKB. Through BKB. Through BKB. BKB is atrocious this game, in my opinion. A um, Manta, maybe, but I think BKB is a really bad item this game. This is fine. Fine. Little slow, and again, BKB. I don't think BKB does anything this game. They need so much more damage than they have. And that is not a damage item. Hello, Alfin. Be nice. Alfin. Okay, continue. I like this positioning. I like this Tidehunter who's like, they're all up there. Let's not go there. Too far out. Oh, that's a really good counter initiation. If that's planned, that's sick. That is what they needed. It's still not enough because Monkey King got ult off. Because he had Aegis and was aggressive. Also, the Veno is, like, late to the party. I think Veno was dead, to be fair. But, I mean, that was pretty close to perfect against the Aegis. They still lost. I think CM got a little too close. She made it too easy to stun her. And, like, got to kite a little bit more on this hero, on Sniper. Not really a man fight hero. Oh, that almost killed that silencer with that glyph. 
I try and do that all the time. It's really funny when it works. BKB much better against this team. Really good, really good, really good. Pretty good, pretty good. I kind of want him to get it. He's getting a BKB. He has it on the doorway. Has a blink. Getting a pipe. Getting a BKB. Eggs. You don't really need a BKB. You have Bulldoze. Oh, neutral item inefficiencies. Why does no one on this... This is better than this. This is better than this. They don't have all theirs yet. The CM should have this, probably. I like this more than this. In boot boot, swap those, I guess. They need to get the rest of their neutral items. Okay. Oh, we're moving up here. This Huskar dying here? Bad. Never turned armlet on. Getting dragged in. They're strong as, like, smaller groups. Without ultimates, the other team is much, much stronger. Lower cooldowns and just heroes that hit hard without needing their ultimate ability. Dyer's top tower is no more. They get a top tower out of that with the Spirit Breaker split pushing because he can charge into the fight. He's a hard hero to kill with Bulldoze phase boots. Working towards eggs. At least dig if you have the shovel, my dude. This is really far back. So let's learn Pudge Hook Range. He can hit kind of the end of the tier, th the those, if he's not high ground. If he's high ground, you can see him. So you sh should be able to know when he's hooking. But like low ground, you can kind of hit the racks. If he's like in line with them. Oh, I like that ward. That's a dead hero. That is like almost the game, actually. That ward into this is the game. Yep, I love diving here. You have a Monkey King with a BKB. You have the Disarm on the that hero. This is such a good dive. That was a really good call from like this Monkey King and Silencer in particular. After they brought the Venno down. It's a 4v5. The heroes are tanky enough to walk by this tower. I like that call. Dyer's middle tower. Is under attack. So I think the big moments in the game was this into this and then losing the fight with the ultimates here due to just some like rough positioning. That's where the game went from like this is really even to this game is hard. The, not quite pulling off this. This could have saved the game if the Huskar snuck it solo. But not quite pulling that off kind of destroyed their chances at it, to be honest. Dyer's middle barracks are under attack. In my opinion. Also, they did not deward that war. Oh, they're about to. You can use your, like, Veno. Yeah. There we go. Use the ranged and the weird spells and stuff to deward that for sure. You don't want to get hooked low ground again. Because you have another clutch up fight availability you know like they've still got a lot of ultimates in 50 seconds they've got two ults they don't have the control to keep people in it but if they're pushing you don't really need a ton of control this bkb ruins things for them really The Monkey King and um, Batrider BKBs are going to make this much harder to win. It looks like they're kind of waiting for Batrider BKB. They're respecting the high ground right now. No one takes timers at this level. They don't know this is coming up. I don't take timers on abilities. So. If you're this team, you need to kill Silencer, Bat, then like Monkey King, Spirit Breaker, Pudge, something in that order. Going on the Spirit Breaker, the Pudge too early, really bad.
Monkey is trying to keep vision of some stuff. Oh, the charge from the auto attacks. Global, no BKBs. Yeah, the BKBs are good against Global, but... Yeah. I don't think it saves them. Really, a Lotus Orb would have been sick. I almost thought that he was going to survive that. I don't think this many BKBs being queued up was worth it for global. Because I think your ideal game state, you're kiting the global. They're just like so strong that they can kind of fight in any way they want. That is a dead sniper with no buyback. Oh. Should be a dead sniper. So, I mean, that's the game. It probably goes for another, like, four or five minutes, but that's the game. Got that soon. No Ravage, though. That's really good, this game. You get, like, Monkey King stunned, you can hit Q. And heal. And disarm him. Huh. I don't think I'd read that. That's really good, this game. Excuse me. And this is Megas. 30k net worth lead. Everyone on the team is more fun than everyone on this team. And just like, they keep killing necessary heroes for the combos. Like if they shot a base, they're not letting them like set it up. This is how you close a game out. Calm, methodical. If they're really calm, they go take a Roche and then come back and end the game. But honestly, I don't think they really need it. It's a 4v5. They global the... And like he's hitting the like it's the only hero that's really there, but like good hook dodge. Debatable. That went about even, I think. The lanes went really even. They just their execution's a little easier, and they fought better in the mid game. Easy neighbor. Don't respond to this shit. Just don't respond. Ignore them. Okay. So. Definitely the big point of contact and issue there is in those kind of throwy mid-game fights that snowball. That you don't pull back from hard enough. You lose a core, people kind of wander in late, they die, and it's all a mess. Got to avoid those. And then with the ults on your side, you can kind of bolster a comeback. But if you fall trapped to too many of those fights, it's just game. And that's what happened this time. Thanks for watching. If you have any ideas for like types of games to analyze, let me know. I'm kind of just taking whatever I can get right now. And if you have Herald replays, send me them. And I will look at them. Because it is really annoying trying to find Herald games. Thanks. Peace.